Let's do number 19 on 9.2. Uh, going faster by grouping on the top. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I should start trying to factor something, right? Please. Okay, so. Okay, so if I kind of think factor by grouping on the top, I'm going to factor a c minus a out of the top there, and I'm going to be left with 7 minus a times c minus y. No. Because I factored it out. Think about this as 7 times a number minus a times a number. Right? I could factor a number out of those and be left with 7 minus a times the number. You guys see that? Oh, yeah. These are super weird, right? Mm -hmm. Another way you could think is you could think, okay, the things I'm counting are c minus a's. So here we had seven c minus a's, and then we took away a of them, right? So in the end, we're left with seven minus a of the c minus y's. Is all cool with that? Mm -hmm. Either way, you can think about it as combining like terms. That's that thing about this counting c minus a's, yeah. or you can factor it. All right, on the bottom. On AC factor. Yeah. Factor. Me? Oh, no, we have to AC factor. Yeah, no, that's what we're doing. Oh, really? Okay, let's AC factor. This one's actually not too bad to AC factor. Why? Because it's 2 times. 2 and 5, so you get 10. And you just get 2 and 5 again. Oh, yeah. Cool. So I'm looking for multiplies to 10, adds to 7, right? 2 and 5. So. 2 and 5 seems like really pops to mind since I just did that. Okay, so I've got my 2c squared minus 7cy plus 5y squared, and I want a what? How do you AC factor again? You like divide it in, so like you have to add to negative 7, so you get two, negative 2cy minus 5cy. Okay, cool. So we want to think about this. 7, right, yeah. as being minus 5 minus 2. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, okay, I could rewrite this as 2c squared minus 5cy minus 2cy plus 5y squared. Sure. Yeah. You can flip the order. It doesn't matter. It makes it easier. Okay, let's flip the order. I think that's probably a good, that's a good thing to see. You guys all with that? Mm -hmm. If I put the twos together and the fives together, I know what I can factor out right away. Okay, so what can I factor out of this thing? It's a two and a two. I think a two. A two C, and what am I left with there? C, C minus Y. C minus Y. That's what I said. Yeah? And you can factor out a negative five. And then out of here, I should factor a negative 5. And what am I left with? C minus y. C minus y. And you should have got negative 5. Should have negative five. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good call. OK, now what? OK, so I want to factor these guys out mm -hmm. or figure out how many of them there are, alternatively, either way, right? So I've got C minus y's. And there are how many of them? 2c two two C here and minus 5y there. So total there's 2c minus 5y. Yeah, so I take that thing, and that's supposed to go right here. In the what? Good. OK, and then I'm multiplying by 2c minus 5y. 2c minus 5y over c minus y. And you can just cancel a ton of stuff. Okay. So many things. Then we should be looking for onesies, right? Right. Okay, so All where are things that are identical? Top. C minus y. y. Everything c past 7 minus y. y. In the top and okay. the bottom. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, there's this pair here. Right? That's a onesie. And one of either, it doesn't matter. You used to write one, so then you're just left with what's left. Okay. So we want to cancel these two guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so all solve after I'm done with my onesies, what have I got left in the end? 7 minus a. 7 minus a over c minus y. So why does the fact of the book say a minus 7 and y minus c? Yes. Ah. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, and, and that's okay. So how are those the same? I might think about this as being 7 minus a over c minus y times negative 1 over negative 1, right? These are the same thing? Mm -hmm. And if I multiply that negative 1 in there, what's it going to do? It's going to flip the signs on both pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a minus 7 over y minus c. Why do they do that? I don't know. They probably just thought about factoring a little differently than I did. You see or that? is it because we switched them over here and they did? No, well, no, probably not. This probably is a thing about your uh, your book likes to have things in alphabetical order or something. I don't know. This is. C? On the top, they like to do alphabetical <laughs> I don't know. There's no reason in particular to do this, but it's not wrong. Does that make sense? There's a lot of different ways for me to rewrite this, actually. Another thing we could write that would be equivalent is we could write this is minus a minus 7 over c minus y. Minus. You guys see that? It's just weird. Yeah, sure. <laughs> There's lots of different ways to write this. It doesn't particularly matter which one. Whatever. Okay. I was just looking at, like, wait, did I do something wrong? Then? No. Yeah, and they, these often get expressed in different forms. If you look at the keys that I've written for these exams, I have just a list off to the side of equivalent things. Is that why? Because the book will like exclude numbers, like because it can't divide by zero. It'll it'll exclude numbers that kind of were like I don't know how they got them. Is that kind of why? Because sometimes it'll be like x minus one, and it'll exclude a one and negative one on the bottom. Okay, maybe maybe okay. No, that uh, the excluded values should always be the ones that cause division by zero. Yeah. That should okay. never have anything to do with the form in which something. Is. Okay. Here, we should maybe mention that when we did this blue thing, we changed the domain of this, right, by canceling the blue thing and by canceling the green thing. But the book says, when they do the directions for these problems, right, they say assume that variables are restricted so that you don't have to consider division by zero, right? Because otherwise we would have to say things like, you know, oh, this is equal except when 2c minus 5y is 0, or when c minus y is 0. You see that? Mm -hmm. I'm only confused because cool. like, the book, like in like 9.4 or 9.3, it'll say, it was like y minus 1 and then over x minus 1. And I get why 1 is excluded, but I don't get why negative 1 is excluded. No. Shouldn't be. Yeah, that's wrong. OK, let's find one and okay. talk about it. Any other questions on this? Like, what? <laughs> That's perfect.